I think a lot of people just think I just walk around always smiling and stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's your mindset on how you go through things. Mm -hmm. And know that, you know, you're. You, it's kind of hard to put it also. I just do life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to describe everything. But you have to be comfortable with yourself mm -hmm. just in and out. And that's a constant, like, uh, constant work for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I can always turn on a happy anytime. But it's also, it's nice to sit with myself when I'm sad. And it's yeah. okay to sit with myself and understand, like, why, what was the situation that made me angry? And, you know, why do, why do I feel that way? Mm -hmm. And I, I, I do sit in silence a lot. Yeah. And I highly recommend being alone and sitting in silence and really kind of figuring yourself out from the inside out. Yeah. Um, and know that you're all these things and that happiness and all these and the way that you are is always a choice. Mm -hmm. Everything's a, of direct balance. You have life. You have death. Without death, it would give life no meaning because people wouldn't give a shit what they do. Right. Right. Um, if you didn't, if life, and then it's the same direct rebalance if life didn't exist and we all just were like, yeah, we wouldn't exist. Yeah. Um, it's just, you know, you're going to find your way through all that. And like in a pendulum on some, some moments, you're going to feel very light and airy into those moments. And that's great. And then it's okay to find, you know, yourself in a darker moment mm -hmm. and feel that sadness and feel yeah. the anger and understand, okay, this is what I feel right now and feel it that moment. And that also releases you from carrying that with you. Mm -hmm. Does that make God, sense? No, I can't even tell you how much that makes sense because I think one of my biggest issues, and this is why, you know, alcohol became such a big part of my life and such a problem for me is that I didn't want to feel those dark feelings. I only wanted yeah. to chase the happy all the time. And, you know, ultimately, like, a lot of us do. turns yeah. out drinking 24-7 isn't good for you and ultimately <laughs> makes you fucking miserable. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's actually an antidepressant. It's actually, actually depressant. Didn't, didn't work at yeah. all. Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, now that I have a, several years of sobriety under my belt, those those moments of having to feel my feelings as unfucking comfortable as they are, and believe me, I got a heavy dose of that when my dad died. Like, mm -hmm. so grateful to now like embrace that process yeah. because the crying, you know, the the allowing those feelings to be felt, to be acknowledged, is the only way that they're going to pass through you and continue on. Because you're right, you will. Otherwise, you carry them with you. you. Carry with you, and that's what made people sick. Yeah. You know, you keep, if you carry and harbor any of the, any emotion, yeah. you know, like good, extreme goodness and extreme sadness, it's all the same. Like yeah. it's all extremes, right? Yeah. Um, if you're going to carry that, just know you're going to carry that weight. You're going to probably make yourself sick. Mm -hmm. So it's best to, or for me, and I, again, I can only speak from my own personal journey and everything like that. But for me, it's better for me to go in as a warrior towards these things mm -hmm. and un and try to understand it as best of my abilities and and feel it and cry and scream and feel that gut-wrenching thing go out to the mountains scream it out <laughs> yeah. take a, a log beat the tree feel it yeah you're alive and yeah. how lucky are you to feel those feelings yeah I mean that's a blessing as it is. Yeah. So I'm gr I have so much gratitude for those moments just yeah. as much, and sometimes those catastrophic kind of <sighs> unleashed moments are your catalyst into a better life and a better you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I've definitely been trying to like harness that. Like okay, you know what can I take away from my father's death? And you know I guess it would be like appreciation for life. Yeah, and transmutation, you know, transmutation is a really good way of taking, like, these situations that come into our lives that could really tear us apart and are traumatic mm -hmm. um, and transmute that into something beautiful. Yeah. And that's what I try to do with anything that comes my way. It's like, yeah. okay, I'm going to take this on. I'm going to recognize it. I'm going to hug it. I'm going to feel it the fuck out. And then I'm going to transmute that into some beautiful art or I'm going yeah. to like probably that's where my calendar came from because yeah. I was coming through something and I needed to express, you know, yeah. this feminine, divine, whatever I was feeling. Uh, you know, I, I did it more in a zodiac base, but I feel like we're all we're all part of each other in some way. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I really highly recommend transmutation. Yeah, because <laughs> you're so right. I mean, the greatest pieces of art, the greatest artists um, those are all been born out of like pain and tragedy. Yeah. You know, it's like, that's what drives creativity is like awful as that is. But I guess 
you know, that's the spectrum, right? You have to feel the sad to appreciate the happy. And then, yeah. and I think people also relate to, I mean, you know, some of the greatest movies of all time are those movies that like have those heart wrenching moments where you I, really feel for them. Right. But yeah. that's like the human condition. We all relate to that. I can, yeah, I can listen to a conversation and feel that, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But I, I, I kind of think there's such a beauty into pain. And I think yeah. it's actually really beautiful when you can kind of really kind of feel it out, feel all the wrinkles of it out. Yeah. And I, I just, I don't know. I'm just very accepting of it. Was I always that way? No. I think I've just become that over time and probably just with certain practices in my life and mm-hmm. everything like that and really kind of accepted this is how it's going to go. This is yeah. how life is. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.